Hey everyone, how's it going? Okay, today's rant, I'm going to be ranting about today's BET, MTV, and reality shows. So uh, let's start off with uh, BET. Now, as we all know, I'm sure BET, since it was first launched in 1980, you know, it was good in the 80s. I don't know, but I'm sure it was good in the 80s. I'm a 90s kid, so... I was born in the 1990s, but either way, also in the 90s, the same as the 80s, BET was good. And uh, then like in the early 2000s until the mid 2000s, like from 2000 to 2005, I have to say, BET was still good, you know? But BET now, it's a load of crap. Um, there are war shows nowadays, they're boring and uninteresting and it's just a turn off. It gives me a freaking headache. And um, BT doesn't even show music videos anymore like they used to in the mornings and afternoons and at midnight, you know, at nighttime. And I'm like, what the hell? Why isn't BT showing music videos anymore? All they do is show nothing but, you know, television shows and repeats of movies. Really? Is that the best you can do, BT? show repeats of movies now don't get me wrong I'm sure some people have not seen the movies that they air on BET but really show the same freaking repeats of the same freaking movies wow yeah that's that's really good BET but um, there's one thing that takes me off about BET um, you know, BT they still they air uh, reruns of Everybody Hates Chris. Now, don't get me wrong. I did like Everybody Hates Chris. I thought it was a pretty good, funny show. But Everybody Hates Chris is not only shown on BT, but also on other channels. They show Everybody Hates Chris on three freaking channels. BT, of course. They show on Nickelodeon's Nick at Night. Heck, CW still show reruns of Everybody Hates, Hates Chris sometimes. And I'm like, why are these three's channels showing reruns of Everybody Hates Chris? It makes no freaking sense. Anyways, uh, basically the only time BT shows music videos is, well, of course, 106 and Park. And uh, speaking of 106 and Park, 106 and Park these days, it sucks. It's it's not entertaining. It's not. It's just boring and the same old crap. And I'm just tired of it. I mean, 106 and Park back when it first aired in 2000, from the early 2000s to mid 2000s, from 2000 to 2005, it was great because we had better hosts back then. AJ and Free, those guys were funny. They were entertaining, and they were just cool people. You know. Back then, they ain't trying so hard, and they were just regular hosts doing their thing. And then back then, that's when we still had good hip hop and R and B music videos. But um, you know, since two thousand five, BT just went downhill, and the same with one hundred six and Park when AJ and Free left. I mean, since then and and still till now, one hundred six and Park has not been the same and will not continue to be the same without AJ and Free. It just hasn't been the same since. So sadly they just felt it was time for them to move on and do some other stuff. Uh so currently AJ, as we all know, is on extra extra with uh Mario Lopez. And I think Free, I think she's doing stuff on radio stations or something. I I think. I'm not I'm not sure, but I I'm positive. I'm sure she's doing something in radio. Yeah, but um Ever since uh, 2005, AJ and Free were first replaced by um, Julissa from um, BET's old show, The Center, and uh, Big Tigger from um, Rap City. And I am surprised that BET don't show any of these two shows on BET anymore. It's like, what the hell? What happened to these two shows? What happened to The Center and uh, Rap City? What the hell? Anyways, these two were only on 106 and Park for a short time, from 2005 until Terrence and Roxy arrived in 2006. And I must say, in my opinion, during their short time on 106 and Park, 
they weren't a bad host they weren't as bad as Terrence and Roxy is currently now yeah so then in 2006 these two arrive bum 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 yep Terrence and Roxy since then one of and Park has definitely been dreadful and terrible terrible I mean all they do is now they just show the same old same old sucky disgusting mainstream and R&B videos I mean some of them are good some of them are not and it's just terrible seeing the same old freaking sorry videos over and over again every single freaking day and the audience in the show actually like that crap now most of them probably pretend to like that crap but come on I wouldn't expect everybody to like it there's no way it wouldn't be right if everybody actually liked that crap. Come on. And then they have the, the freestyle Wednesday and Fridays or whatever. And um, it's pretty much freaking lame to me. I'm just not into into that. And then they, they do nowadays, these kids be doing some some weirdest, most stupidest dances ever. It's like, what the heck are they doing? My gosh. And now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure Terrence and Roxy are, you know, nice people. Uh, I'm sure Terrence is a cool guy. He seems to be a cool guy. But on the show, it's like he tries too freaking hard to be funny. I'm like, damn, dude, just host the show, please. And Roxy, I really don't have nothing against her. I mean, she's very pretty and fine and everything. Fine woman, but the same she really tries too hard to be so freaking funny i mean sheesh just host the show people but i don't watch 106 and park now i'm just tired of it it's the same old stuff so i don't even bother watching it most of the time but all you know now i'm just focusing on you know school and homework and stuff and don't even bother trying to waste my time watching that crap yeah anyways let's move on to mtv the same with bt mtv was good back in the 80s and 90s two i had to say from 2000 to the late 2000s is pretty much be, became crap and you want to know why because mtv <laughs> they don't show music videos anymore what the hell mtv why aren't you showing any music videos anymore hello mtv music television you're supposed to show music videos not just reality crap uh you might as well change your name to rtv reality television yeah is that um is that more suitable for you yeah 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 and i know they have other music video channels like mtv jams and mtv tv lists but come on mtv you're going to continue to have the same name but you're just showing reality tv shows Oh my gosh, come on now. Yeah, so now MTV, all they have is just nothing but reality television series. Like uh, Teenage Mom, which is a spinoff to 16 and Pregnant. Oh, come on. What is with the spinoffs already? Spinoffs are so old. And it, and sometimes they won't even work. Ugh, spinoffs are even worse than the original series. I mean good grief for example like with Sonny with a Chance now on Disney Channel they got a spin off of That's So Random oh my gosh I mean the show was worse when they had Demi Lovato in it but now with Demi gone it's even worse without her what was the point of them doing a spin off of the show uh, it's, it's like Nickelodeon's 90's all that but it's a sucky version of it my gosh yeah, so they have Team Mom, and then they got this one uh, show called Ridiculousness. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't bother knowing what the hell that is. And then they got Awkward. It's some comedy drama series and whatever. Never seen a show. Don't give a crap. Then they got this one show called Made. Yeah, so this TV series about teens who have goals to become singers and athletes, dancers and skateboarders, etc. 
and all that crap. And uh, I've never seen it before. Don't. I really don't give a crap. So. And then, of course, we still have w real wor world, of course. And, um, of course, we have Jersey Shore. Oh, my gosh. What is with all these, these reality shows? It's too much. You can't watch every reality show. Damn. Anyways, I don't really watch Jersey Shore. I mean, it's pretty much like the real world. It's the same old crap over and over again. You got, you know especially the women in the show spitting on each other and throwing food at each other and crap punching each other and then it's fighting and kissing making out having sex and making out and all that cr other crap I mean damn I, I don't I don't think I'll ever watch Jersey Shore I mean I don't think I would even bother watching it it's just the same old stuff I mean, my dad watches it, but I don't think I'll bother watching it. I'm sorry. And plus, the show is called Jersey Shore, but some of the people in the show, they're not even from Jersey. Most of them are from New York. Some of them are from Rhode Island. I mean, some of them are from Jersey, but most of them are from New York and Rhode Island. How the hell are you going to have a show called Jersey Shore if most of them aren't even from Jersey? Hello? What the hell? And I know that Jersey is in New York, but come on. Ugh. Anyways, the good thing about MTV is that Beavis and Butthead is back. Hallelujah. Beavis and Butthead is coming back to MTV starting, what, next month, October 27th. So if you love Beavis and Butthead, check it out. Oh, thank God Beavis and Butthead is coming back. Oh, and also, of course, MTV has the same old VMAs, but they suck. They crap. Ugh. Anyways, let's move on to reality shows. Now, I don't know. It's just too many freaking reality shows that everybody cannot watch. And it's pretty much the same old crap and stuff. And today's reality shows, most of them are just scripted. Really? Really? Hello? It's it's reality show. You're supposed to talk about that's real rea and reality in your life, not scripted crap. <sighs> For example, uh, like Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I actually, me and me and my parents, we actually watched this show, and I don't think it's really that bad. But it's just some of the. Th some of the things is just so scripted in the show. I mean, you know, it starts off from a bad situation. And then at the end, they fix the situation. And everybody's happy, hugging and crap and all that. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, typical, as usual. That's no brainer. And then there's some other reality shows that are just plain ridiculous. Like, one show called Farmer Wants a Wife? What the hell? Nobody wants to see that crap. Oh my god. And then there's I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. More like I'm a viewer. Get that crap out of here right now. Ugh. Reality shows these days. What the hell? But there is one one reality show that takes it to a whole new level Tyler's and Tiara's yeah so this is a reality show on TLC and the show is about child beauty pageants yeah so their mommies dress up their daughters in beauty pageants first of all what the hell were they thinking second why on earth would you send your child to a, a, a beauty pageant wearing makeup and crap like she's a teenager or, or whatever. Seriously? And they got putting them putting makeup on them and they're wearing clothes like they looking like adults or sluts and hookers. What? Really? That is such a bad example. No, that is not the way to do that to your children. That is awful. Just why? Just freaking why? Anyways, 
This has been my rant on BET, MTV, and reality shows. You may comment on you like on what you think about Beavis and Butthead coming back to MTV. Are you excited? What do you think about MTV and BET currently and some of the reality shows that are so freaking scripted? Ugh. Anyways, I'm gone. Bye-bye.